Okay, quadratic equations, again, coming back to a topic that's really on the minds of a lot of people, evidently. Uh, and I guess the questions are, how do you do this? How do you know what to do? How do you know which thing to do first? And I promise you guys this, if you'll just stick with it and try to be adaptable, you're going to get great at this. But first you have to kind of learn, not tricks, but you have to learn some things to think about. And the, and the things that I'm constantly thinking about are these. Um, the one thing I'm thinking about is, do I see anything here that I can take out? So uh, here's a 5 here, here's a 5 here, here's a 10. What do they have in common? What factor do they have in common? And the factor, of course, that, that they have in common is 5. So all I'm going to do is that. I'm going to pull out this 5. I'm going to say, okay, now I have 5 times x squared plus x minus 2. And let's just check my math backwards because I'm really seriously prone to messing this up. 5 times I'm sorry, 5 times x squared is 5x squared. 5 times positive x is positive 5x. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, isn't it? <coughs> so I have all the pieces. Now that we've factored out this monomial, that's our monomial, we can continue to factor. I'm going to bring down this monomial so I don't forget to use it. And then I'm going to factor this inside piece. And hopefully you've worked on this factoring technique. And if you haven't, please check out my uh, other videos on factoring quadratics. But is x minus, ooh, no it's not, it's yeah, x plus 2 times x minus 1. If you're sitting there going, how, how, did, how do you know that? Well, I need two numbers. When I multiply them, I get this number, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And when I add the same two numbers, I get this number, and 2 minus 1 is positive 1. So that's how I factor that one. Let's just do one more example, because I don't want to make this video long. I want to make it something that you hopefully just pick something up from really quickly. So let's look at this one together, if you don't mind. This one is a little bit different looking, and it's um, our new function is 6t squared minus 36t. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm just going to look, what do they have in common? And I see a couple things they have in common. The first thing, uh, you know what, let's, let me be smart about this. The first thing I'm going to look at is these coefficients. And I see a 6 here, and I see 36 here. And they have something in common. They have a factor of 6 in common. So I'm going to start by fact just factoring out that 6. All right? And I'm going to put all the other stuff back in here in a minute. And then if you look, now you have t squared here and you have a t here. Well, what do they have in common? They have, and remember, it's always the lowest that they have. This one has, is t squared, so it's t times t. And this is just t. But they both share at least t, don't they? So I'll pull a t out. 6t times what is 6t squared? And, of course, that's t. And 6t times what is negative 36t? And, of course, that's negative 6. And we have this thing factored out, don't we? I think that, honestly, the more you work on this, the more you give this a chance, the better you're going to get at this. And when you get good at it, you're going to start to see it much more clearly. So please don't give up. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please do.